Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Rap Gods. Rap Gods is by Board Game Brothers, and it is for two to four players. It takes about 45 minutes to about an hour to play the game, and you're basically going to be trying to uh, earn as much fame, street credit, mic cred, and all that good stuff, while um, putting out records and all that good stuff. Now, the idea in the game is you're going to be getting objectives to achieve. You'll be able to choose your own as well as try and deal with your opponent's objectives. And you'll also be trying to utilize cards from albums. Now, there's three different albums, which are basically your rounds in the game, and five tracks for each album, which are your turns throughout the game as well. And all the different cards in the game are going to facilitate what you're going to be gaining, whether it be um, the boom box here, which is your basic score, uh, or, or basic currency, I should say, or it's going to be these mic uh, credits here that you're going to be like mic skills, street cred, and um, the money cash, which is very important as well. And throughout the game, you're trying to get the best scores you possibly can. Sometimes they're going to ask you for things like the most street cred, or maybe the most money, maybe the least microphone skills, and so on and so forth. Everybody has their own unique character that has their own unique abilities, as well as bonuses to some extent. And that's the basic idea of the game. You're going to be going on this disc track trying to score as best as you possibly can. All right, well, let's go ahead and take a look. So here we have the game Rap Gods and everything that's included. And as you can see, there's a player board here. There's two main types of decks. You've got the album and then you've got the uh, come ups over here. You're also gonna be getting two other sets of cards, which are going to be character cards along with these city cards. The cities represent these tiles here, which are gonna be achievements throughout the end of the game. You're gonna be trying to acquire them. Least mic skills, most money, uh, most street cred. You're gonna choose between two of these and pick one of them and place them down based on the number of players in the game, uh, up to four players, along with the come up cards. The ones are going to start first based on the number of players and since we're going to be playing a three player game you're going to set it up for three players plus three plus right there if it was four you'd set it up for there over here are the um objectives as well that are always going to be throughout the game they're, they're random as for these ones over here but the champ always starts here it's always going to be used the rest of them are random whether it's diversify poser well rounded up or any of these guys and it's also based on the number of players you've got this here which is going to represent the first player marker and then the cities represent what you're trying to achieve everybody has their own own city goal that they're trying to achieve, uh, which could benefit you in some way. If not, you can go for any of them. It doesn't matter. These are just basically reference cards to let you know what they do and what they require, along with these being your starting resources here. Uh, the goal is the most street cred. This goal here is the least, so it tells you over here. And then as well as each player, which one, one you chose, is going to give you starting either cash, street cred, or, or mic skills. So after you've set these aside, you can go ahead and put them next to the players. These are the additional cities you can go ahead and use. Everybody's going to choose between a two characters as well from all the stack of cards here picking one of them and that will represent you as a character you're also going to get these little pieces here which are going to signify the resources around the board and other useful items throughout the game and of course you're going to get five cards from the first album here album one everybody's going to get five to start off with and these are going to represent what you're going to be trying to do throughout the game after you've got your five cards and all your resources your one character and all of your cities out along with these guys here you're ready to begin the game start album at album one and track at track one and progress the game. All right, let's talk about how it works. So you've got your whole board set up for the game and now all you need to do is make sure you check your character's abilities. Every character has their own unique abilities along with sometimes objectives in the bottom here. This one here says if you can get your mic skills over 30, you're gonna get 10 more bonus victory points at the end of the game. This is Lyricalypse, like Lyric Apocalypse. And then after that, you're gonna get your five cards in hand. So these are basically album cards here and they all range from different colors and different resources. Some of them are gonna have costs in the middle, but most of them are just going to say what you get when you play them. On your turn, you have the option to discard three of these street car or album cards to go ahead and pick up a come ups card. After you do that, whether you choose to do that or not, you're then going to be able to play a card from your hand, including those, and then move your tracker around the board. Now, after you've done that, everybody else will do the same, and then the next track is going to begin, or the next uh, turn is going to begin, and after all five have gone through, the next album is going to pop up, and you're going to start using from album two. You're going to draw five cards from here, there's a specific hand limit, and you're going to be playing cards that way. You're trying to move across the track, trying to pass your opponents up, and you'll be able to use cards in the albums deck that allow you to do things like send beef to your opponent or, or have beef with your opponents trying to uh win in a sort of a dice rolling duel uh, you would say or a mic i guess a, a mic thing going on with you back and forth rapping and whatnot and after that there'll be one more final album with this one here and of course they get bigger and the requirements become stronger there's still the red beef cards that are involved and you'll have that option if you want to try and discard three of your cards in order to gain these you're always going to draw one 
one card on your turn as well, one of the albums represented on the uh, for the album of that current time. Um, but you're not going to be able to discard three more than twice for most of the characters because you always have to draw one and play one or draw one, discard three, and then play one. So that's the basic idea of the game. Whoever has scored the most of victory objectives at the end of the game along with their specific victory tiles is going to win, which is varied by these tokens here that represent uh, your victory points. All right, let me go ahead and show you a couple rounds of the game and how it functions. So here we have the game. I went ahead and set it up for three players. As you saw previously, everybody has their cards. This character has an additional card because of his ability. And of course, this player here, white, is the starting player. You've got their starting width, which is all located here. So as you can see for white over here, he's got one money, he's got two mic skill, and then he's got three for his street cred. So to begin the game, like I said before, everybody's going to draw the five cards from the deck unless your character ability says otherwise. And then you want to choose one to play into your tableau. So uh, this one here would give you three dollars or three of these guys here which are basically the currents of the game. And this one over here is going to give you Mike. This one is street cred. This is Mike again, street, and then currency, or not currency, uh, dollars. These are ones over here. And how it's going to work is pretty simple. Once you play it, you're going to simply put it in your tableau. So let's say he wanted this one here. He would simply play it over here, and you're going to put them in a line, and then you're going to gain, he's going to gain three, and then increments of these are ones, and then you got fives, and then get 25s, uh, and then two uh, riches. So he's going to look over where he is. This is right here, and he goes one and two. Oops, and so he's right there. And then after that, he is going to be done. The next player is going to get to go. Remember, you get to draw a card too at the very beginning of your turn. So this player will draw a card, and he could choose. He's he actually probably will choose to uh, discard three. And the reason why is because these cards are better. These come up cards are much better, and he has more cards to get rid of. If you do discard cards, it's going to limit your options throughout the game. Maybe he doesn't want certain things. He uh, is going to go ahead and let's say he doesn't want. It says the least amount of mic, so he can go ahead and get rid of all the mic cards he might have in his hand. Oh, he doesn't have any. Wonderful. So he'll pick the lowest valued cards um, which will be, I guess, these guys here, I suppose. And after he discards three, he'll get to choose one of these cards here. And they're much more powerful than the other ones. This is a five and a four. This one over here is only a two and a three. So you can see how much more powerful they are. The core will come up again. He'll probably play this card because it's so good. He'll put it in his tableau. He'll get five, and then he's going to get four money. He's purple. So he'd move this over here, and he goes one, two, three, and four. So he advances past everybody else, and that would end his turn. And then the next player would also get to go. He'll just go ahead and pick one at random. He'll pick two and two, so he'll up his mic by two, one and two. And then he's going to up his uh, count over here by two as well. And after that's done, that's the first track. And the next track will go, and people are going to continue, right? And that's the idea of the game. You're trying to score these objectives over here as well as these ones over here. Now, in the game, there's also some interesting cards like these ones here, the red ones, and they're called Beef. And that's because you can make your opponent suffer this cost. And what's going to happen is one player who plays the card is going to get this as well as the Beef die, and you're going to roll it against another player that of his choosing, and the person who gets the highest die number is going to be the one that wins. The person who wins is going to get one of these beef cubes, and the person who loses is going to get the red card put into their tableau for the end of the game, which may help or hinder them depending on what the objectives say in the game. Uh, you're also just moving around the board, obviously, trying to get as high as you possibly can, or as low as you possibly can, depending on what these objectives are, as well as these ones over here. The first player, they get all resources above 20, so whoever gets all, all, all the resources over this first. Uh, complete another player's rolls objective, so one of these, or one of their rolls objectives, which are interesting, which are these over here. Let's see if I can find one. This roll objective over here says he gets 10 victory points in the, the game if he has uh, more than 30 mic uh, skills, so that's pretty useful there. And then he's also got this one over here. First player to play uh, one card of each cat, C-A-T. Well, the cats are basically the different colors. And once you play the um, all the different types of colors, you get that as well. And finally, the most beef at the end of the game, right? That being said, after all five tracks go, start back at one, move this here. You're then going to give every player five of these album two cards. You're going to get rid of these guys here and add the new come ups for number two, which is so just make these like stronger cards. And like I said previously, too, we'll look at this one over here. Uh, there's obviously still beef cards in here, but you have more likely to have cards like this in here. This is an East Coast tour. This one says that you need eight uh, street cred in order to even use this card. But if you do have eight street cred, you'll gain five of the currency here and three. 
uh, dollars or three riches over here on this track. So there is more costs involved as the game continues and utilizing the different decks. Finally, after all three albums have gone through all five tracks, the game is going to end. You're going to tally up all the points involving your character cards, involving all of these here and these. And then, of course, any currency you have left over within the game are going to also be counted towards victory points. Whoever has the most is the winner. And that's basically how you play the game. Rap Gods by BGB. All right, let's come up and talk about it. All right, so that's the basic idea of Rap Gods. Of course, there's a couple extra little caveats I have to mention. First of all, there's a bunch of different character cards and they have their own unique maneuvers up here, play with six card hand. Some other ones do different things like this one over here does once per album, take an extra turn. That's pretty good. And then of course at the bottom is actually bonuses. This one says that you get a bonus for playing green and playing blue cards. It's a plus two per card uh, in your timeline at the end of the game. So that's pretty useful as well. Others will or won't have a bottom bonus such as the one I was talking about before, which is this one here, 10 points if your mic skills are greater than 30. So that's pretty useful. And there's certain objectives that want you to try and uh, complete comp player's role objectives. Uh, that being said as well, the cost of cards gets incredibly more uh, uh, more required as you progress through different albums, but it's very likely you're gonna have those or at least a couple of them, which will allow you to get other ones. Not only that, but like I said, the come up cards, you can only get it one, about one around because of the amount of cards you're gonna have in your hand at any given point in time. But whenever you draw up cards again, you have a certain hand limit. I think it's like eight cards or something like that. If you do not utilize the cards in your hand by discarding them for come up cards, then you're going to lose the cards. So you wanna make sure to do that, specifically during the third, second and third round. Whenever you use your ability, also you're gonna be putting one of these guys on there if you need to. Some of them have active abilities and that signifies that you use it. You can only use it once per album uh, for most of the ones that have the use ability on them. Okay, so that being said, let's talk about Rap Gods. Well, the first thing is this has a little bit of a tableau management feel, has a little bit of a risk feel when it comes to rolling the dice to attack each other with beef cards. It's not as often, I suppose. Maybe it happens maybe once a round or so, twice a round, depending on the number of players in the game. But it does make a difference as far as scoring the points go, and it can actually get you to win the game. Not only that, though, but the cards that you requ have requirements on them have a tendency to be rather easy at the very beginning of the game and a little more challenging as the game continues based on what you're trying to go for. Sometimes you're not going to get certain cards to be able to play because you need certain other cards or certain other uh, aspects on the board, and that's okay and fine. Uh, the game overall is a solid game. However, I want to see more Tableau aspects in the game. There's a couple of them that are really cool that I was really interested in. First of all, this one says first to play all the different colors. Another one is play three of the same color at the same time, but I would like to see even more Tableau management involved as far as playing the different colors and which cards you play and how you play them and maybe even organizing the cards on your board as it stands there's only very specific things that the tableau is going to be used for other than just bonus points at the end of the game and these guys here not only that though but these uh really powerful cards here i think it'd be kind of cool to have abilities on these come up cards in some 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 degree to make the game even more interesting i've noticed that either some of the characters either aren't done or they're modded in a way that is kind of weird to me so like this one over here does not have any special ability so it's just kind of blank as opposed and so it seems like it should be something there but there's not i'm not sure if they're just going to be added later or what some of them are going to have bonus points and others won't and there's some characters that i think are definitely stronger than others this one here says once per album you get to take an extra turn that is very 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 useful some of the other ones are a little less useful they're not necessarily bad or anything but there's definitely ones that i feel are a little stronger wherever they might be but this one over here is play with a six card hand this one's actually really really good as well here's some other ones over here uh, this one here says once per album all players give you one card keep one and distribute the others how you'd like so it's not really an extra turn but it gives you bonus cards in your hand it's not too bad once per album exchange one card with a player of your choice that player is smoke space filla exchange your entire hand so that can be okay as well but take an extra turn is so good I love that card. Um, overall, though, the game has a great theme. The board itself is wonderful. I love feeling like I'm moving around on the disc track. I think that really initiates the theme of the game. You feel like you're trying to get certain things like street cred and all that kind of stuff. I'm probably not one of those people that's going to be able to tell you how street cred works and all that. But it is a fun and interesting feel when playing a game like this. The game always is going to feel different based on these little objective points that you're trying to acquire throughout the game. And it's very, very simple, which is nice because it's actually you can play really well with kids because all you're doing really is drawing a card, playing a card, you're going to do that about uh, 
40 times, no, 15, sorry, 15 times. And then after that, you're gonna tally up your scores and all the objectives and that's it. You're gonna see who wins the game. But it has some strategic differences in how you wanna play the beef cards and how you wanna utilize your abilities and which cards you're gonna to choose to play for objectives and how you're going to go about getting the least amount of mics, but also getting the most amount of street cred without actually having enough mics to get the powerful street cred cards. So it has that interest, interesting aspect there. I just like to see a little more involved with the tableau management of the game because I thought that was the most interesting and unique aspect of the game so overall the game's pretty cool i like it it reminds me of the game uh jason's game uh the oh i can't remember the game now but it's a very similar like gangster type feel this one has that as well being in la i do enjoy that theme as well hope you will enjoy it as well go ahead and check out if you're interested on kickstarter in the description below rap gods by bgb all right guys thanks for watching another unfiltered gamer kickstarter board game review if you like this video oh mm, thug life that's the one it is <laughs> those checking out our website unfilteredgamer.com and don't forget about rap gods currently on kickstart in the description below if it sounds like something that'd be interesting for you you should go ahead and check it out also check out our giveaways on unfilteredgamer.com in terms of blog posts all that good stuff and our friends everythingboardgames.com as well as the giveaway geek they got some great stuff giveaways even more than my own site all right guys that's all i got for this time and as always i look forward to seeing you guys in the next rap game that's so cheesy why am i even